thoughts. So today, as you can probably tell by the title of today's video, is basically going to be a, an engagement Q&A or question and answers. Because basically, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, then I mean, I will leave all my Instagram information in the description box in case any of you fancy checking it out. But basically, I asked over on my Instagram stories if any of you saw if you heard anything click, click or it was just my wrist. But basically, if any of you saw on my Instagram stories, I basically put like a question thing up on my stories and I just asked for any of you to present in any of your questions really if you had any in relation to our engagement and things like that so yeah what i'm going to do today is i'm just going to go through and answer a few of them um just so you can kind of get your questions answered really so yeah without me kind of rambling on anymore let's just get straight into it so one that people have actually asked a lot that I have already kind of answered in my engagement story in case any of you haven't seen that then make sure you go and check that out but a lot of people are kind of asking did you have any idea did you have an inkling things like that and basically I had no idea that James was going to propose in Devon Um, honestly literally no idea he kind of like jokes about getting engaged all the time like before he was engaged but I mean I never in a million years thought it would be in Devon. Um, I know some people were like, you've got your nails done, weren't you expecting it? Like, no, I just get my nails done whenever I go away. Like, it's the kind of thing that I do. Like, I don't get my nails done, like, on, like, a week-to-week -week basis. But if I go abroad or if I'm going away, I like to just, like, treat myself to getting them done. I know we weren't going abroad, but I still thought, you know what, I'm just going to go and get my nails done just because, I mean, I would be getting them done if we was going abroad. So, I mean... Some people are looking a little bit too much into it. I literally had no idea. Um, I just wanted to get them done because it was going away for a few days, really. They are going to come off soon, though, because, I mean, they are really starting to grow out now. And, I mean, they're just getting on my nails. Like, I could be one of them people that has, like, long nails all of the time. Just because, I mean, no, literally after, like, a week or two weeks, I'm like, you know what, I'm over them now. Like, they was good while I was away. But, in reality, like, I don't know, I just find them, especially when they're long, like, I don't like short nails on me i think they just make my fingers look really like stumpy so like long nails are fine for like going away when you don't have to do a lot or like when you've got to clean your house like do a bit of washing up like they're just a bit of a nightmare if i'm honest with you so yeah they're probably going to come off soon so i mean no i literally had no idea that was kind of beside the point but no i literally had no idea that he was going to do it when he did um a little bit crazy i suppose but you know i just had no idea but i think it's because he had such a thick coat on that like if he was in shorts or in a t-shirt or something like that i feel like i'd maybe have more of an idea because you might be able to see through his short pocket or something like that but because he had a coat on and it was like a really thick coat like where he put the ring and the box in like there was literally no way of knowing that he was covering anything like that just because it was so padded that you wouldn't have been able to see anyway um so yeah i literally had no idea that he was going to propose when he did and then somebody else has asked, have you started wedding planning yet? Or started to think about wedding plans? Yes, we have. We have actually already, I, mean, I know you're probably not expecting this answer, but we have already signed a contract with the venue. Um, not going to say the exact date we're getting married or anything like that, just because obviously, I don't know, I just leave a little bit of suspense for you all. But all I will say is it's not going to be this year um just because obviously i am pregnant in case any of you are new here the baby isn't due until september um so it's not going to be this year um it will be next year but i mean if any of you want to guess when it will be next year then drop me a comment in the description box i mean i have told some of my like close friends and family as to when the date will be so i mean if you've already been told not that you haven't invited yet because i'm not that organized but i mean if you have been told the date then don't comment and don't ruin it for everyone else but yeah that is the that is the latest at the moment. We do have a venue, um, and that is basically about it. And you may have noticed that the position may have changed slightly, and that is basically because my battery just died, so I had to like take the battery out. And I mean, there's probably a slight changing like camera angle now, I suppose, but hopefully it's pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, I don't really know if you heard that last question, but it was basically, will you be having an engagement party or any engagement party plans? And if I'm honest with you, no, we don't actually plan on doing an engagement party. I know some people do and they love it but i mean for us there's just there's just not really not that there's not any point but i mean we are just not really we just basically decided not to have one um there's no reason in particular um but i think just because obviously we will be getting married next year it's not like we're having like a massive long 
engagement I suppose like it's not like it's a couple of years and obviously I am pregnant and to try and organize an engagement party while you're pregnant probably isn't the smartest thing to be doing um especially because obviously not that it would matter anyway but obviously I don't know like it's just more cost really isn't it and we are trying to I say trying because we're failing at the moment but we are trying to stick some kind of a budget on the wedding um yeah I don't really know how much it's going to come to but I mean we are trying to keep things a little bit kind of within budget but I mean yeah honestly some prices are just crazy at the moment so I mean we have got a venue and I mean that was kind of how much we expected to pay um but apart from that we haven't really sorted anything else out yet so we won't be having an engagement party to answer your question and then somebody else says but have you got any wedding plans I mean I suppose I have already kind of answered this and um, we do have wedding plans sorted that is basically the only thing that we have sorted at the moment is a venue but we are kind of like doing everything in one place so the ceremony is kind of there we still need to sort like registrar fees and stuff like that out we're literally doing everything under one roof just to kind of make it a little bit easier and um, so yeah that is basically the only wedding plans we have started to like plan i suppose what we'd like and what we'd love and kind of like the essential things that we really really would love and then anything extra just depends if we can obviously afford it because obviously we do need a like some kind of budget that we need to keep under and um, everything so far that we have actually been getting quotes back is a little bit over what we are saying so i feel like we need to like redo the budget with like being a bit more realistic and then just yeah just see how things go really and then somebody else has asked will you be a pregnant bride no i won't be i feel like i have touched on this it's because i mean that's not something that neither of us kind of would want i suppose um obviously if it happens it happens but we are planning on getting married next year so the baby will be born this year so hopefully i mean i don't really know how much weight i'll be able to lose between giving birth and the wedding but i mean whatever it is it is um so yeah i'm not planning on being a pregnant bride but obviously you never know what will happen and um, like i said we have actually signed a date for next year so i won't be pregnant with this baby but i mean you can never know about the future so yeah i don't plan on being but i wouldn't 100 percent rule it out just because i mean i feel like that would be pretty silly um so yeah i'm not planning on being but we'll just see what happens hopefully like realistically what would be ideal is that would get married before having any more children um but i mean you just never know how things are going to play out do you so i mean i don't plan on being pregnant for the wedding but i mean who knows and then somebody else has asked will you have a big wedding now if i'm honest with you the problem is that it's going to be hard to have a small wedding because i know that loads of people have had to postpone their weddings and things like that so i mean we're really lucky to kind of get a date for next year anyway um especially because like a lot of venues near us only cater for 80 day guests and we are way over that if i'm honest with you like we're over 100 day guests like we're we're pretty much at a crazy amount of day guests um, but most places like I said only catered for 80 near us there was only like a few venues that we found that could have more than 100 so yeah honestly it is crazy how many venues only do 80 day guests which I mean we've soon learned that that is like a sorry literally my bar strap is falling it down but we soon learned that that's like the average number of day guests which I don't know but then I have a really big family James has a tiny family compared to me but he has a lot of friends like he has a lot more friends than I do um so we, we kind of like balance each other out a little bit um but yeah i literally just have a loads and loads of kind of cousins and things like that like, so i have a lot of cousins and a lot of aunts and uncles um that just soon add up really and then i do also have like i've literally got like four friends that i'm asking to the day and then obviously their partners and things like that um but James has got a lot more friends than I do. I'm literally just close with a few like friends. Obviously, I have more than four friends, but like I'm close with four. So that's all that I'm asking to the day. And then any others will be on the evening, just because obviously we've got to try and keep the day guests down because that that's what's expensive. Um, the evening guests aren't too bad. It's literally just the buffet that you have to pay for for them at the venue that we've like chosen. So the evening guests, it doesn't really matter as much. Um, 
but the days yes are the ones that we've got to try and keep down but just because otherwise the cost is going to be crazy but at the moment the like the minimum amount of day guests that we are going to have is still well over 100 uh, but there's not a lot we can do about it really because we are like i speak to literally all of my cousins and stuff like that and james is obviously just got a small family but he's got a lot of friends so they all need to come and things like that so yeah it's it is tricky trying to like keep the keep the numbers down so yeah we probably will have a bigger than average um but hopefully it's not going to be too big if you know what i mean like i don't want anything too crazy but it's hard to keep it at 80 which is why we've had to get a venue that obviously can do more than 100. the venue that we've got does fit up to 250 day guests which we're not going to have 250 i mean we're definitely not going to have 250 but yeah it's under 250 day guests thankfully but it's over 100 so that's why we've had to go for a venue like that and um, but then obviously with evening guests and stuff like that like it's it should be fine like it's gonna everyone's all gonna fit in there which is all good so yeah it won't be too big but it's not gonna be too small i mean i don't really know like my big and your big might be two completely different things you might think oh my god that's a crazy amount like that is really big but then for me like there's people that are on the evening list that we would like to have on the day guest like obviously but for us there are people on the evening list that we would really like to be on the day list but just because of numbers and pricing and stuff like that and trying to keep it kind of sensible within a budget it's just not going to happen um so yeah i'm sorry if you do end up with an evening invite so you completely understand that the day guest is pretty full so yeah that is that is the latest on that one so i'm not sure it just depends on what you think is big and what you think is small really doesn't it and then somebody else has asked was it a difficult decision to say yes like no it wasn't it was literally so like i knew what i was going to say as soon as i saw the ring and before it even kind of got it out but it was kind of one of the moments like as soon as he pulled the ring out and like opened the box like i don't know if any of this happens to anyone else but i just kind of went a bit like like in shock for a bit and um, it's literally over within seconds which you know what I mean like I don't know as soon as I saw it I just went a bit like what the actual hell like I can't believe you're doing this but yeah it was it was crazy but it wasn't a difficult decision at all although yeah so yeah it wasn't a difficult decision in the slightest but yeah I did go a little bit like what the actual hell for a second but obviously I said yes and then somebody else has asked who said I love you first now James actually said I love you first um don't really know he's gonna care that i've said that or not but yeah james said it first and then i said it literally straight afterwards um but yeah that is basically that one then i'm just gonna quickly see if there's any others i feel like i've answered a lot of these or a lot of these are kind of like similar but asking differently but asking the same type of question but yeah i feel like that, that is basically all of them so yeah i feel like that that is like quite a few of the questions answered i mean if you do have any other kind of questions that i haven't answered then just drop me a comment in the comment section and i will answer as many of them as i possibly can but if you have enjoyed today's video then please be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and i mean do be sure to turn on the post notification bell button if you want to be the first to be notified as to whenever i upload next but that is basically all for today guys so until next time see you